Hello everyone and welcome to my 1 to 99 hunter guide. In this guide I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to get 1 to 99 hunter and I'm also going to be showing one money making method that's actually really good money an hour um, although at the cost of very slow XP. So if you are interested in making some money I will show a method on how to do that but if you're just interested in achieving 99 hunter as fast as possible I will be showing that method. Before we get started into the traditional methods of training hunter, I have to talk about Big Chinchampa a little bit. It is a twice daily hunter distraction and diversion. Um, you can get a large amount of XP up to 115k XP a day in your two games at level 91 hunter and above. It takes about 17 minutes to complete a game. You can find this distraction and diversion in the Tree Gnome Stronghold just south of the Agility Training Arena. There's a ladder that you can climb up and you can enter a yellow portal. Um, I'm not going to be demoing how to do the minigame as this video is going to be pressed for time constraints to begin with and it is very simple. You, A very straightforward minigame, not too hard to figure out, but good Hunter XP and I highly recommend doing this. For starting out with Hunter, before you do any Hunter training, what you want to do is go to the Varrock basement in the museum and there you can take a small quiz and it will give 1000 hunter and slayer xp on completion which will get you to 9 hunter instantly which is faster than any other method of training at level 1 hunter I'd recommend doing it the quiz is very straightforward um, you have to go around to some bookcases um, displays and answer a few questions that the game will give you it takes about five minutes to complete I'm not going to be showing how to do this as I have already done it on my account however um, it's very straightforward and should not cause any trouble once you do reach level 9 hunter what we're going to be doing from 9 to 19 is feeding rabbits in the vine sweeper minigame the vine sweeper minigame is not very well known because no one actually plays it but the XP per hour is much much better than hunting crimson swifts which is the other most common method of training at level 1 to 19 hunter um, the XP per hour is about 9k and it will only take about 20 minutes to reach level 19 from level 9 I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you want to hunt rabbits just now just go to any tool leprechaun and teleport to the vine sweeper to train your hunter by feeding the rabbits what you want to do is go go to any tool leprechaun it doesn't matter which one and click teleport on them and they will teleport you to the vine sweeper minigame and then you want to run over south and there is a farmer guy and you want to just click buy roots on him and he will sell them to you as many as you want I'll just buy a couple here and once you have the roots what you can do is you can run around the farm and you will see rabbits scampering around occasionally like this one here and you want to click feed on the rabbit and your character will run over the rabbit and it will you will gain 30 hunter XP for doing so and so every time you feed a rabbit it will disappear so what is the best thing to do is after you have fed all the rabbits on a world just quickly go to your friends list and quick hop to another world and then you can feed the rabbits again on that one and that way you don't have to wait for the rabbits to respawn from level 19 to 29 we're going to be hunting tropical wagtails in the felled up hills hunter area the xp per hour is a little bit faster and also remember once you reach level 20 hunter you can use two traps at once so you want to bring more than one bird snare along with you it will only take about 45 minutes to reach level 29 and i'm going to show you guys exactly how you want to hunt tropical wagtails however it is just very easy just lay down your traps wait for the birds to enter them this won't take too long and it is a very easy method of training. My personal favorite spot for hunting the tropical wagtails is right north of the hunter expert which is the person that sells the hunting cape. The easiest way to get here is by teleporting to mobilizing armies and then running north and a bit east and what you can do is just set up your bird snares here. There's a few tropical wagtail spawns and once you reach 20 hunter as I said earlier you will be able to set up two bird snares also if your bird snares ever run out you can run just a bit south and there's a hunter expert right in this hut down here and you can trade her and she will sell you more bird snares so you don't have to worry about that anyway just catch the tropical wagtails and quite easy quite straightforward from level 29 to 47 we're going to be hunting swamp lizards in the haunted woods the XP per hour is 25k also, if you wish to do this method past level 47, all the way up to level 60, or even up to level 80, if you're really ambitious, you can do that. You will make some money off the swamp lizards. However, I wouldn't recommend doing that as the XP is much, much faster doing other methods of training. 
It will only take about 2.5 hours to get to level 47, and you will need some ropes and small fishing nets to set up the net traps that the swamp lizards go into. Also remember to bring the supplies for three traps, because once you reach level 40, you will be able to set up three. For hunting the swamp lizards, I figured I would show how to get there from Canifus. So once you're at the Slayer Master in Canifus, which I'm pretty sure everyone can find on their own quite easily, you want to start running south, and the swamp lizards will not be very far away from here. If you want to bank quickly, if you have a Canifus portal in your house, you can just teleport to your house and use the Canifus portal. If you don't, you can always just run back. But here are the swamp lizards just a bit east of Canifus, but you do have to go on a little bit of a roundabout way just because of the way that the swamp is set up. And if you have a small fishing net and a rope in your inventory, you just click set trap on the young tree, and the swamp lizards will eventually come over to the trap and get trapped. And the price of swamp lizards at the moment is nearly 2k a piece, so this is a very good money making if you do decide to bank your salamanders. From level 47 to 60, we're going to be hunting orange salamanders. The first thing you want to note here is this is in the desert, so you're going to want to wear desert robes, and if you have an enchanted water tiara, bring that. If you don't, just bring a few water skins in your inventory. It will only take about 3.5 hours to reach level 60 from level 47, hunting orange salamanders. And you will need three ropes and three small fishing nets as well. Uh, bring extras just in case if you disconnect or for some reason leave the computer for a while and your ropes and small fishing nets disappear because it is very annoying to bank. Also you can bank in the Dominion Tower if you have the requirements to enter it, so keep that in mind. To catch the orange salamanders you want to head into the desert. As I said, bring water skins. I brought my enchanted water tiara and here there's orange salamanders all over with the young tree traps. How I got here is I teleported to the Dominion Tower, but you can also uh, just run from Shantae Pass and just run straight east for a ways and you'll get here quite easily as well so just set up your traps and the orange salamanders will go into them. Well, hopefully. From level 60 to 80 we're going to be hunting red salamanders south of Arty. The XP per hour here is quite good. It's between 60 and 100k and since the, that was a rather wide range I just decided to put 80k XP per hour. I never trained with this method myself, so I don't know exactly how fast it is. But the time it takes to reach level 80 is about 22 hours. Remember to bring four ropes and four small fishing nets or more with you now, because at level 60 you can now lay four traps at once. Also, it can get quite crowded at the Red Salamander, so it may take some hopping around to get yourself a free world, but just be patient. Also, since this is such a long experience between level 60 and 80, I would recommend doing some Big Chinchampa and other things to break up the monotony and not just grind this out all at once. An easy way to get to the Red Salamanders is by using the Spirit Tree to teleport to the battlefield of Khazard, and then just running south in a southern direction from there. Make sure to not cross the river, because the Red Salamanders are on this side. And as I said earlier, these are quite often crowded. It can be difficult to find a world. There is already a player on this one. However, once you hop around a little bit, you can find a world to yourself. It can also be worth using a foreign server because players are not often on those kind of servers, and it can be a bit easier to find a world. However, you just want to come here down where the ZMI altar is, and uh, there's a hunter spot with red salamanders all around. From level 80 to 99, we're going to be hunting Jachronic Jadinkos if you want to get Hunter as fast as possible. The next creature that I'll, I will show will give much better money, but also much slower experience from level 80 to 99. So for Jachronic Jadinkos, there's a lot involved. Um, I will have a link to my full Herblore Habitat Jadinko hunting guide where I show how to catch every Jadinko down in the description because I don't have the time in this video to make a full guide on Jachronic Jadinkos because there's a lot to explain. However, if you watch that Jadinko guide in the description, I will tell you guys how to catch all of the Jadinkos, and the Draconic Jadinkos are included in there. So the XP per hour is a pretty wide range. It's from 120k to 200k an hour. And that's because at level 80, it's fairly hard to catch the Draconic Jadinkos, and you will not be getting as great as XP. But when you get into the 90s, the XP gets much faster. Also, you can use your Witch Doctor Mask to teleport there, or if you don't have one, a Juju Teleport Spirit Bag, so I didn't feel like the world map was necessary. 
And for the items needed, that will be in the Jadenko guide as well if you decide to check that out. Of course, you can always look up someone else's Jadenko guide because there are a ton of very, very excellent and well-written Jadenko guides on YouTube and on the web that you can find quite easily. From level 80 to 99, if you want to make a lot of money but also have the experience be at a much slower rate, you can hunt Grenwalls in the Elf Lands. The profit here is extremely good with the price of Grenwall spikes at the moment. You can make up to 1.7 mil an hour or even more if you're really good at it. I will say that I did give this a fair shot. I went to hunt Grenwalls. I followed a guide to the letter and I only caught one Grenwall in 15 minutes. So either I was doing something wrong or I was just terribly confused or I got terribly unlucky or one of the above. So I'm not going to be able to show you guys exactly how to do this because I don't want to demonstrate a method that doesn't work at all. However, if you are really interested in hunting Grenwalls to 99, I would not recommend doing it because it's extremely slow. But if you care more about money than about the Hunter XP, it can be a good option. And you can make up to 250 mil on your way from 80 to 99 if you do Grenwalls that entire stretch and get a bit lucky or are very skilled. So I'm not going to be demoing the Draconic Jadenkos or the Grenwalls because I couldn't figure out how to do Grenwalls personally, even though I did give them a shot. And Draconic Jadenkos are going to be in the guide that's linked in the description. So thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can either comment or join my friends chat in game, which is Uncle Zunky, and I'd be happy to answer any comments or questions that are given to me. So that is all. I hope you can achieve 99 Hunter like I just did recently. And good luck and farewell.